Never Stop Learning, week 222. We're going to take a quick look at the Glyphs panel in Adobe Photoshop CC 2015. All right, so here I've got some text laid out. And if you take a look at the top left section of my screen, over in the options bar, it's showing us that this is Minion Pro Regular. The reason I'm going with this font is if I click on the drop down, it's showing us that that's an open type font. All right, with open type fonts, you're going to have more glyphs to play around with, so it's easier to demo this way. I'm going to hide this guy and show you how to bring up the glyphs panel. Over in the window menu, if you scroll down, you're going to find glyphs. Just click on that, and it's going to bring up the glyphs panel for you. All right, so let's walk through this guy. Over here in the top left section, it shows Minion Pro, and currently that's the font that I'm looking at right here in the glyphs panel. I could choose different fonts, so if I click on this drop down, I have access to all the different fonts that are installed on my machine. I'm going to hit escape to get out of that. You could change the style. So currently, because I have Minion Pro activated, I have access to bold condensed, medium, semi bold, and all these different ones in here. So depending on which font you have activated, you're going to have access to different styles. All right, escape to dismiss that. Now, in this font, I have tons of different glyphs I could look at. All right, so to help me out, I have this drop down menu. Currently, I'm looking at the entire font. I could change this to different categories. I could just look at currency, and now it's limited to just the different currency glyphs. If I come back over here, I could change numbers, and now I'm looking at just the number glyphs. All right, I'm going to come back into my document and make a quick selection and change this to alternates for selection. All right, when I choose that, now it's showing me the different alternates for the letter A. Every time I update my selection, you see the glyphs panel is gonna be updated as well. All right, so over here, I'm gonna switch it back to entire font, and then you see all these different glyphs right in here. But the last one I wanted to show you guys is this one over here, designer favorites. This one's really important because it already has the most common glyphs you're probably going to use. So I would come in here and take a look at these guys first. All right, now a different way to look at these, let me go to uh, currency. All right, if you want to take a look at the alternates that are in here, you could just click and hold on any of these thumbnails and then you'll see the different alternates available for that glyph. You could also hold down the Alt or Option key and that's going to bring it up for you immediately, but if you just click and hold on it, it'll come up in a second or two anyway. All right, down here at the bottom, you have this little mountain, you have this large mountain. If you click on the large mountain, it's gonna zoom in on the thumbnails. If you click on the little mountain, it's gonna zoom out. So it's making these chips larger or smaller. You could also use this little slider right in here. All right, I'll back off on that. Next, we're changing the size of the glyphs inside of these little thumbnail chips. All right, so I could reduce the size. Now they're tiny. Clicking on this guy is going to make them larger. And you can make them so large that they're larger than the chips themselves. So once you get this to the size you want, just go ahead, leave it at that size, and it'll remain that size for you in the Glyphs panel. And there you have it, folks. That's a quick look at the Glyphs panel in Adobe Photoshop CC 2015.